Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany here. You have just tuned in to Beauty by Bird X3, y'all. And in today's video, as you can see by the title, it's another grocery haul, another weekly haul. Um, without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. We have some bananas. We got some red bell pepper. They actually substituted my green bell pepper with the red, which I'm not too fond of that. I prefer green with just you know like with my standard meals or with my meals standardly but I mean we can do the red um, we got some cucumbers a tomato a head of lettuce some grapes pineapples those are in every haul now hubby asked for those we have some garlic bread some blueberry Belvitas in my last grocery short, um, I actually was able to find the chocolate Belvitas, y'all, and I love the blueberry and chocolate Belvitas. We got some penne noodles because I want to make my chicken pasta again, y'all. Yes, I made it last week and it was so bummed. So I was like, let me do it again. Let me run that one back one time for the one time. So in my chicken pasta, we do um philadelphia cream cheese we do all types of seasonings we do the cajun seasoning we do garlic we do um actually garlic powder onion powder um we do the old bay as far as like seasoning for the chicken so we do chicken breast i normally do three chicken breasts i will um cook them on the stove really fast for like five minutes and let them sear on both sides, the chicken breast. You know, toss them over, cook one side for five minutes and then cook the other side for five minutes. Um, after, I, well, yeah, after I throw all of my seasonings on top and then I'll stick that in the oven, um, the chicken breast and we do the penne noodles, we do heavy whipping cream, unsalted butter, y'all, it is delicious. If you want me to show you how to make it, just leave me a comment down below and I will maybe do a video on that, um, how I make my Cajun chicken pasta, y'all. It's bum. We had to run that back this week, so I got some penne noodles. We have some French vanilla K-Pods, the Dunkin'. Um, we got some popcorn there. And I also want to do spaghetti this week, so I have the McCormick Thick and Zesty Spaghetti Seasoning Packet. We have some Rocky Road ice cream, y'all. This is also good with my um, flaming Hot Lace. Oh, let me show you my Lace. So, in last week's grocery haul, last Sunday's grocery haul, I told y'all that these were actually on the way. Um, y'all, I've gone through that bag and had to get another one, okay? Because this combination is just so good. So, it's the flaming Hot Lays the flaming hot flavored lays, and you can do that with either Rocky Road or the Neapolitan, y'all. Bum, okay. Bum, bum, bum. If you try it, please let me know how you like it. It's kind of similar to you know how some people eat fries with their mil milkshakes, like it, it's kind of similar to that, but not quite. Um, but we did get some bread. Mm -hmm. What? I got the on the border cantina salsa y'all this is so good we got some diced tomatoes also for my Cajun chicken pasta typically I use diced tomatoes but last week I used Rotel and I couldn't really tell a difference as I mentioned I do plan on doing some spaghetti also this week so we have the roasted garlic and herb and also the roasted garlic parmesan I had to pick up some more of my ice espresso the caramel macchiato we have yes ma'am y'all the struggle is real around here okay it is very very real but i would not trade her for the world y'all 
Um, we have some lemonade, y'all. This is the Simply Lemonade with the raspberry and the all natural. Those are like staples in this house, y'all. We got some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. These have turned into Amila's like favorite cereal. Before they were Jace's, and now Amila loves them. Like she has to have some dry Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the mornings, every morning seems like. We got some sour cream. I did um, a thing of Cran Apple Ocean Spray, another staple. And these are starting to be staples. We got some Twix. <laughs> we got some Twix ice cream bars. The Blue Ribbon Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream. Y'all, we now get this every week, seems like. Every week we are getting these ice cream bars. Yes, my household runs through them in a week, okay? Yes, I picked up two things of the beef flavored noodles. We actually ran out of those completely. I typically stay stocked up on those, but I did run out. We got some turkey bacon. We got a few things of salmon there. The fresh skinless salmon. We got some chicken wings. Y'all, this, it looks like I'm missing some wings, y'all. Where, where is all my wings in this? Where are all the wings? I'm missing something here. <laughs> we got some ground beef chuck obviously for the spaghetti um i think i have some ground beef also in the freezer i want to say but yeah i got another thing had to get some deodorant this is what baby girl is eating now some fruit snacks these are already open got another thing of fruit snacks jumbo potatoes y'all because we love potatoes around here. We love potatoes any kind of way, whether it is a baked potato or a good old or good old mashed potatoes, y'all. Fried. Um, give me a good potato on the side with some type of meat, y'all. A1, okay? <laughs> we got some more chips, y'all. The assorted box of chips. Y'all already saw my flame and lays. We got these Tostitos to go with my salsa. Some apple juice. We needed some more persil. Baby girl needed some more detergent, y'all. And we got some milk. Um, I picked up some whole grain, 100% whole grain nature's own bread. We have some bananas, y'all. I got this in last week's haul as well. Let me step out. I got the creamer in last week's haul as well. Or maybe it was the week before, y'all. This creamer is bomb. Sorry about Amila's yelling y'all she's upstairs with my husband she's good y'all so this creamer is bomb y'all i've already made it through like a half of bottle hold on so yes i picked up some sweet and creamy international delight creamer we got some more persil y'all i needed some more fabric softener y'all this combo superb we got some Belvitas. i got a few gallons of water there um the honey smoked turkey breast we have some philadelphia cream cheese i do plan on doing a cajun pasta this week that calls for cream cheese we got some turkey bacon and some um cutlery there Parmesan cheese also for my Cajun chicken pasta. We got some red and green grapes. Speaking of grapes or fruit in general, y'all, I have not did my all fruit day yet. Um, that is still in the works. So um, the fruit, all fruit diet is still in the works. However, as you can see, we didn't get enough fruit this week to do the all fruit diet. But I do have some leftover frozen fruit. So I really could. Um, we'll see. But I will keep you posted on that. Once I do the all fruit diet, I promise you guys will be the first to know. Okay. So yeah, we got some fruit and I got a head of lettuce. We got some chicken breast um, to do my Cajun chicken pasta. I'm not going to use all of these, but um, we do have chicken breast. We got some chicken wingettes, two things of those some orange juice the fruit snacks y'all i had to hot these because like i said it is kind of late in this time it's really like it's close to bedtime we have fruit snacks we have some cinnamon rolls cucumbers heavy whipping cream also for my cajun pasta some whipped cream 
um simply lemonade the all natural we needed some milk y'all i do not buy, buy milk regularly because this milk typically lasts a while if you can see the date there y'all right now it is february 27th and this milk is good until april 19th so yeah we got tene noodles because the type of pasta that i'm making calls for penne noodles and i prefer these type of noodles with this particular pasta um i think i said cucumbers we got some eggs y'all let's talk about these eggs going down though because at one point we were at like 14 15 dollars for two 18 cartons of the large eggs like now we are at like six dollars i think i paid six dollars for both of these so yay that's really a win we got some diced tomatoes y'all this is actually a sam's club purchase some aquaphor i actually use this on baby girl versus like vaseline or anything like when she's um when she seems to be irritated or anything we just use the aquaphor so this was like i said a sam's club purchase i like to get the big um containers of the aquaphor because they last a long time y'all a very long time like this entire container will probably last anywhere from three to six months if not longer so on baby girl she's really the only one that uses the aqua four but i do prefer this over the vaseline i don't know why but if you have not tried the aqua four try it we have some um unsalted butter also for the pasta we got some oatmeal y'all some ice cream there we have some twix ice cream bars as well hubby loves these and i just gave up on the strawberry shortcake y'all <laughs> if you have been here the last few weeks these have been in like every haul for the last few weeks and they're basically jace's at this point so i had to get me something else like i had to get me another type of ice cream so hopefully i can have this one to myself we'll see i don't know again we are not the healthiest but we're thinking healthier okay <laughs> Um, so yeah, I actually ordered some, y'all, a weird combination, I know, but try the, try the Neapolitan ice cream with the spicy Lay's, y'all, the hot flaming Lay's. When I say good, y'all, my Lay's are actually coming in the mail, um, because they didn't have them in the store, so they should be here tomorrow, y'all. This combo is like one of those meals that I could just sit on the couch and eat while i'm watching a good movie or a good show y'all try it okay um it's just a, the perfect combination of cold sweet spicy and then you get a crunch on top of all of that like this particular ice cream really you can get any brand i haven't tasted a bad brand yet of the neapolitan ice cream um but really any brand works for me and the flaming hot lays chips thank me later we had to get another box of the chips i switched it up this time the last few weeks i got the purple box this week i switched it up for the blue box so yeah we have this one we needed some paper plates y'all i got some paper towels because we needed more of those this is like this will probably last us like a month and a half but like I said, I always place my Sam's Club orders. This is from Sam's. I always place my Sam's Club order like once a month to kind of stock up on the things we need, y'all. These are the Pampers Easy Up, the pull-ups, the training underwear. Y'all, we, we still on it, <laughs> clearly. Um, we are still potty training. Um, this is a real deal struggle. It has been a real deal struggle for you moms who have successfully potty trained multiple kids or potty trained a girl um a very strong willed girl please let me know what you've done because when i say this little girl is so hard to potty train like we can sit her on the pod every 30 minutes every hour and it's like once she sits on the pod you know she'll sit there for her, her a period of time or however long she sits and she'll get up and then she'll go in her pull-up. So, yeah, 
I think she understands the concept. It's just getting her to go, y'all. That's what I'm trying to do. So we did get the pull-ups, y'all. And I also got some diapers because I really don't trust the pull-ups at nighttime. So she is still in the diapers or she will still be in the diapers at night. Um, she's been kind of like in and out of the pull-ups. Some days she wears the pull-ups and some days she only wears pampers. So I did get some pampers, y'all. And as you can see, we had to switch it up. Typically for the pampers, I do, or for the diapers, I do the pampers brand. But y'all, pampers from what I've seen only goes up to a size six. And girl, Amila, baby, my baby, my little baby is a little thick with it, okay? So she needed a size seven. So I had to get her a size seven in the Huggies. Um, thankfully, Huggies does make a bigger size diaper because Pampers wasn't doing it. I'm like, where are the Pampers for the thick chicks? Because my little girl, is she's a little thick with it, okay? So, we gonna need some diapers for the little thick babies, okay? But yes, Huggies do go up to the size 7. Um, and these are her pull-ups. I actually had two boxes of these. Hopefully, the hopefully this is our last round of diapers, y'all. Hopefully, like I said, I did get two boxes of these. 88 per box. Hopefully, these are this is our last purchase of diapers. Okay, hopefully we will see. Fingers crossed, y'all. Say a prayer for us. I got a head of cabbage here. Um, excuse the ash, y'all. <laughs> I've been cleaning up all morning. Right now it's about two o'clock, I think, maybe even three. And I'm just really trying to get this haul out the way so I can just kind of chill um, and really enjoy my Sunday. Today is Sunday, March. Uh, I don't even know, y'all. March something is 18th, 19th, something like that. But this is a head of lettuce. We got some great y'all we're gonna try this all fruit and vegetable day i guess one day this week maybe i have been really heavy in the gym and i'm really proud of myself um maybe not eating the healthiest but we are you know trying to make the gym a habit so that has been happening in the background it's been a minute i know since you guys have saw me um on a video maybe i think at this point but um yes we are in the gym heavily now i did pick up some cucumbers y'all we have three cucumbers also some bananas we got both red and green grapes um there i think i got like two pounds of each we got some nature's own whole wheat bread we have some raspberries and two packs of blueberries i actually should have got two packs of the raspberries because i really 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 love the raspberries y'all berries 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 so he also picked up some strawberries there we got a big thing of strawberries i didn't realize how much fruit i got until i got home um and yeah i might may, may just do my all fruit and vegetable day this week um but i did get a honeydew milling y'all i love 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 honeydews Back in the day, my grandmother would cut up a honeydew for me. And I know it's probably not the healthiest, but we would add salt to ours. Like, it's just the perfect combination of salty and sweet. And if it's a good honeydew, let me say that. But, yeah, I got a honeydew and we have some cilantro because I want to bring all the vibes for Taco Tuesday this week. We will do tacos one day. So, I did get my bell peppers last week they actually substituted the green with the red so i do have my green bell peppers this week we got some street tacos for taco tuesday obviously um some yellow rice y'all it's been a minute since i bought my yellow rice i actually still have some from the last time i bought yellow rice but y'all know this is like when i get into making yellow rice as a side like this is my go-to side for like several meals at a time um but i love 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 this yellow rice this type of yellow rice we have some canned vegetables there we got some whole kernel corn and also some fresh cut green beans i picked up some tomato sauce y'all because i do want to try out a new meal there's this recipe that i found and it's like a beefy pasta meal it calls for tomato sauce um and a few other items that we'll discuss here in just a second i picked up this nun dairy whipped cream y'all just to see how it tastes um we'll see if this becomes a staple in the house i'm not sure 
<laughs> because, um, I don't know, we eat a lot of dairy and I really just want to kind of slowly take that out of our diets slowly. Okay, y'all, because we love our cheese and our milk and all that, but I did pick up that creamer. Speaking of dairy, y'all, we have some heavy whipping cream there. I got a thing of orange juice, the no pulp. We got, y'all, my normal, the strawberry, um, not strawberry, gosh, the Simply Lemonade All Natural and the raspberry, y'all. These are like every week must have. Oh no, this is the strawberry, y'all. I didn't get the raspberry this time. We got the strawberry. So yeah, we have that. I'm pretty sure I got the big jug. Maybe not. I'm going to have to check my order and see. I got a thing of Persil, y'all. We have been washing like crazy because we've had company in town and my dad came one week and my um, mother in love and sister in love came another week, y'all. And we have just been enjoying family. So I've been doing like a lot of washing and stuff um, today and, you know, just really getting everything clean or whatever because my mom is scheduled to come. My mom will be here not this week, but next week. So we are getting things together for her, for our next set of parents. My dad came one week. And like I said, my um, in-laws came another, y'all. We've just been really enjoying family. But we have some cups there. And did I say purse seal already? We have some purse seal, y'all. Y'all know we cannot leave these out. If they're not in the hall, I've forgotten them. But these are baby girl's favorite. Right now she's asleep, so she's not like... <laughs> Y'all don't hear at all right now because she's asleep, but soon she will be up, y'all, and I'm pretty sure she will be in the pantry looking for these, okay? We also got some beef broth. This is to go with my new meal this week that I want to incorporate. Um, did I do all of my vegetables? Oh, we have some jalapenos for taco Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Some tomatoes. We got some flour there. Um, I did get the ice cream sandwiches this week. I completely forgot. Jace just reminded me, y'all. Of course, he's going to remind me that I forgot about his strawberry shortcake ice cream bars that we've gotten like every week now. He loves those. Um, I guess we don't have any more, but I did get the ice cream sandwiches by, by Bluebell. So he has those this week, and next week we will stock back up on the strawberry shortcake. Hopefully, if he reminds me, um, we did get some assorted and assorted box of chips there. Some green apples, the Granny Smith apples. Um, trying to make sure I'm not missing anything, y'all, because I look back at some of my grocery hauls and typically I always miss something because I'm trying to, you know, I don't want to waste your time. I want to just get straight to the point, um, show you all the goodies. So, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I am not missing anything. Here we have some on the border salsa, y'all some on the border salsa this is really good with the tostitos chips we got some chicken wings some ground beef i picked up some minced garlic we have some seasonings here the onion powder oregano that's actually for my new pasta the crushed red peppers for my new pasta basil leaves also for the new pasta and some garlic powder we have some Belvedas, y'all. I was able to find these again. I'm super excited about this. I love the blueberry and chocolate Belvedas. We have Taco Bell ta um, crunchy taco shells. We have the Italian cheese. I think I got two things. Yep, and then the sharp cheddar cheese also for my pasta. Y'all, I'm gonna do the rotini noodles um, for this particular pasta. I might as well actually go ahead and give you all of the ingredients now. Um, so it calls for these noodles, tomato sauce, um, all types of seasonings, minced garlic, of course, ground beef, cheeses. Now, it's on the recipe that I saw or that I found, it only showed the sharp cheddar cheese, but I think it'll also be good with the Italian cheese. I just said that I'm trying to do away with the dairy, and look, y'all, we're a work in progress, okay? And what else did it call for? beef broth also so i got some beef broth i'll have to look back at the recipe but if you want to see me make this recipe just leave it down in the comments and i i don't know i would like to start incorporating like at least one meal ideal per grocery haul now y'all let me know what do you think would you like to see in my grocery hauls a meal like added to the haul like me actually making one of the meals that we will eat 
Um, I'm trying to incorporate at least one new meal per week in my imaginary recipe book. Um, so I'm trying to really step my game up on this cooking thing. So if you guys would like to see at least one meal, or if you would like to see one of the meals that I make during the week from like ingredients that I pick up at the store during my grocery haul, let me know and I will start like incorporating that into my grocery hauls every Sunday. Okay, hopefully that made sense. But I did get some pineapples, y'all. Y'all know those are in every haul now. We needed some more yogurt. We got some honey smoked turkey breast. Um, y'all, these are so good. The Boathouse Farms, although they have a lot of um, sugar, they have a lot of sugar. They are, they're really, they're really good. And again, we are not the healthiest, but we are thinking healthier. But I did get two of those. We got some cornbread because I saw and I was like, you can never have too much cornbread. Um, I picked up a thing of queso ruffles. We got some apple juice there. Hubby needed some deodorant, so I got him. We got two deodorants. Y'all, I just picked up another thing of this. This is the Dawn Power Wash, the Dawn Ultra Power Wash, y'all. If you guys have not tried this, I suggest you try it it is really really good and last but not least y'all I got some olive oil because sis we need to spray our hair the paper towels y'all we were running pretty low on paper towels and I also got some tissue paper from Sam's I like to get my paper towels from Sam's because we get like this whole thing for like I want to say this is like $25 or less um, and it lasts for a little over a month and these this box of tissue paper y'all last for at least a month and a half or two months with us we are a family of three i'm gonna say three because amila still uses wipes <laughs> so we're the only ones that use the tissue so a family of three um this actually lasts us like a month and a half even two months i still have some left over from the last time i got tissue paper um, so we technically still don't need it, but I do like to keep stock on stuff. So yeah, if you are new to my channel, my name is Brittany. This is Beauty by Brit X3, y'all. And we do grocery hauls here every Sunday. If you like this type of content, stay a while, subscribe, hit the like button, y'all. And tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell her auntie and them, y'all, that we are over here. Today, we are going to get right into it. We got um, four packages of chicken wings. And I picked up this. Applegate natural savory this turkey breakfast sausage y'all it's new I've never had it but we're gonna taste it this week um to see how we like it so if we are going to try this turkey sausage out to see how it is if you guys see it in another haul you know that it was a one we have more Rocky Road ice cream. I did remember to get Jace's um, strawberry shortcake um, ice cream bars this week. We got more Belvitas, y'all. I am not the only one that eats my chocolate Belvitas. So Jace actually indulges in my Belvitas also. So he likes them. Again, we have some bounty paper towels and some um, tissue from Sam's. I also got a thing of Persil detergent, which I'm kind of upset about because this shipment or these well the paper towels the tissue paper and the persil actually they were shipped to me so i ordered them online and the persil detergent actually came open so it was like leaking out in the box thankfully not all of it leaked out but a good percentage of it did um sam's is like so understanding i appreciate them for this they, um, I just called them up and they are sending me a replacement of my Persil laundry detergent. So I still have some technically because all of it didn't leak out, but most of it did leak out in the box and everywhere y'all. So, but they are so understanding. I just called them up, let them know what happened. And they was like, okay, we're shipping you a replacement for free. So I should receive that Persil bottle sometime this week. But thankfully in the meantime, we have some to hold us over. We did get some Welch's fruit snacks, some noodles there, the beef flavored bananas. Those are in every haul. Bell peppers, cucumbers, a tomato there, a purple onion because I do want to make some tuna fish this week, y'all. Um, purple onion, um, 
what else well this is like for lunch so purple onion um of course the cans of tuna boiled eggs um and sandwich bread i can't think of anything else maybe celery but i don't think i have celery so i'm gonna have to skip on the celery this go around but yes um that is what we actually use um or what i put in my tuna fish so i do plan on doing that this week as like a lighter lunch along with some Ritz crackers, y'all. Baby girl loves these things. Um, we actually had some Ritz crackers left over prior to this week, and baby girl, like, she went through and just ate them all. But um, I did pick up some more Ritz crackers. We have some beef smoked sausage, some ground beef chuck. One of my meals this week will be chicken. Another meal will be spaghetti, because I still haven't made my spaghetti, so... Yep, I'll do spaghetti, and we may have leftovers for spaghetti at least a day, so we'll see. Um, I did get more heavy whipping cream because I'm starting to love putting this stuff in my eggs, y'all, whenever I cook breakfast. Um, so, yeah, I do want to stay stocked up on my whipping cream. Y'all, if you have been here the last few weeks, you know this is my favorite creamer. This is my favorite creamer up to this point, like hands down the best that I've tasted um, up until now. That may change, but for now I do, I am enjoying the Sweet and Creamy International Delight Coffee Creamer, y'all, so good. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing in the mornings with my coffee. Now I did pick up a Starbucks creamer as well, the Caramel Macchiato, because I mean, who doesn't love this? Not my favorite at this point, but y'all know I love my Starbucks. Speaking of Starbucks, y'all, this year, I have not been going to Starbucks as I normally do. Um, partially because Starbucks isn't really that big in this area. Like, we have a Starbucks, but really in this area, they're big on Dunkin'. I should have looked into that before we moved because that would have been a deal breaker. Just kidding, guys. But... <laughs> Yeah, we did get some Starbucks creamer. Like I said, we do have Starbucks in the area, but Dunkin' is definitely more prevalent. I picked up some turkey bacon, some pineapples. I got a thing of lemon, a bag of lemon, organic. Um, some butter. We got some toothpaste, eggs. I needed some more Lysol laundry sanitizer. We got some Tabasco sauce for Hubby and Jace. Simply Lemonade, all natural, no explanation needed. A head of lettuce, another head, y'all. I like to do salads during the week. Um, I have not, however, been on top of my game, but I do plan on starting this back soon. So I do have a head of lettuce. We have some whole grain bread, unsalted butter. Another meal this week will be my Cajun chicken pasta, y'all. I have not made it probably in like a month. Um, the week that I made it, I said I was going to make some more the next week and never got around to it. But I've used all of my unsalted butter and had to pick up some more. Also, for my Cajun chicken pasta, we have the Philadelphia cream cheese as well. We have some Lay's, the Flamin' Hot Lay's. Also, some apple juice. I did get two boxes of the Bold Mix, the Frito-Lay Bold Mix, y'all. Jace loves this um, this mix. We got a few things of water, some jumbo potatoes, and finally, finally, we have some cran apple juice. This is the haul for the week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.